This is, this is a philosophy that I've heard a few different people talk about. It's called the vacuum philosophy. It's very interesting on a surface level and there's definitely some reality to it. But when you go a little bit deeper into it, I'm not a big fan of all the uh, spiritual and holistic stuff. I believe in, again, law of action, making things happen, guaranteeing your results, taking personal accountability, personal ownership for everything and making it happen. I think everything in your life is a result of your mindset, your outlook on life and the actions that you take. But this philosophy is interesting to at least understand on a surface level. So it's called the vacuum philosophy. And essentially, I'll give you an example. Let's say you want to have new clothes, right? You want to buy a bunch of new clothes. You want to just have a whole new wardrobe, new drawer, new, like all kinds of stuff in there, right? New shoes, new belts, nice things that you want, right? One way to kind of put that vacuum philosophy in, in play would be to go and actually clean out your closet, clean out your wardrobe, take out all the clothes that are older and even some that are still in good condition and put them in bags to give away to charity, put them in bags to throw away if they're used up, right? And get rid of all the clutter. So clean up your closet, clean up your wardrobes. What you've done now is you've created space. Now you, when you open your closet, you realize there's empty space. There's room for newness. There's room for new clothes. There's room for an upgrade. So by default, you've created this vacuum. You've created this void. And now what you can do is you can go shopping, buy new clothes, buy new shoes, new belts, whatever, and fill the void, fill the empty closet with new things, new clothes. So that's kind of the vacuum philosophy and using a very basic and easy example to understand. But you can think about any area of your life and apply that same philosophy. Before you look to add things, first, look to remove the clutter, remove the negativity, remove the noise and create emptiness, create a void that then you can fill with the right habits, the right actions, the right thoughts, the right activities, the right strategies in order to be able to accomplish your goals at the end of the day. So that's the vacuum philosophy for you. You can apply that to your closet and you can also apply that to your life.